welcome to tech cartel once again today we have the asus zonar series dx uh, sound card which is uh, pretty much appreciated by the internet all around the internet it's a zonar series and it has got all the woozy sound or whatever sound difference we want that's dolby digital pro logic 2 and virtual speaker or a virtual surround it is a 7.1 audio channel it supports that then it has uh, DS3D mostly for gaming vocal effects a good filtration for vocal sound uh, I mean when you chat or do something then SNR 116 dB that's the sound output it can give and the rest too okay it has a full full HD sound support and the ASIO is the low latency in the sound that's pretty much technical then uh, that's pretty much about it but this card is a good good buy if you are planning to upgrade your P I mean you don't like your onboard sound card or you are planning to buy something which will uh, compensate for everything I mean which will be not compensate it which will be useful for everything like gaming uh, video audio uh, listening to music or uh, even uh, gaming so this is a good choice so let's open it up so they have come up with a very good packing you have a sound card photo here and very attractive pack uh, mind well this card needs a floppy disk drive connector it's shown here as well so let's open it up it has a pretty huge box and it does not open from one of the sides you have to push it from the other side let's keep it up black box with the shoe box opening shine this is the card I won't allow you to feast so early on that we have a bunch of accessories this is a normal uh, 3.5 mm jack to your RC converter then you have a floppy disk drive molex pin connector molex to floppy disk drive for the card and we have a I don't know why is this given we have this uh, black IO shield I believe this fits from the outside or something like that because this also has IO shield inside this is one then we have a, a optical output connector probably and then we have massive two two sets of guides the one this one and this one I don't know only the difference I see is U3550 and A3550 I believe those those are the sound chips used on the car and then we have a driver CD that's it not much let's be fast and open the car itself here is the car this is how it looks Oops. This is how it looks. Look closer. This is the I mean, for this card, it's the front. This is the back. Here is the floppy connector, if you can see. You need to connect the floppy connector here. Then, let's have a look on the card, what all we have got. We have a Asus uh, sound chip here. So then we probably have to refer the A3550. Yes, we need to uh, use that. Then uh, if this is the front panel. Oh, sorry, this is the front panel audio connector. That is the header we call. I don't know what what is this given for. Yeah, this is for the auxiliary in. It's written there just uh, beside that see it's a PCI 1x connector it also works with the PCI 16x slots so no worries then we have very golden plated uh, rather golden uh, connectors uh, what we have got here one is SPDIF out the other one is uh, front then the other one is uh, back the same pretty same stuff mic and all those things so this is pretty good this is the serial number and all so it is a good card it has a support for Dolby which I like the most so I would suggest that this is really a best buy 
if you're planning to get this get a sound card that's what my suggestion would be i hope you liked the video if you did not please comment your feedback is important to us and if you like it please subscribe thank you for watching talk to you later